I have a feeling the U.S. women's football team can eat as much sugar as they want after having taken home the World Cup this summer. It was a big win for American football, but what many didn't really expect is what happened after their victory. Kevin McAleese has that. Game night for the Washington Spirit as they take on their New York rivals in front of thousands of expectant fans. This is increasingly the norm for the women's top flight football players, with the sport still glowing from the national team's World Cup victory this summer. It's becoming more and more popular because I think you see a lot of great players. I mean, the skill with these women is unbelievable. We've been out here, you know, every home game, and you see it's, it's packed out here. According to the Fox Network, the Women's World Cup final attracted 25.4 million viewers, the biggest ever for a U.S. football match. Star player Ali Krieger says the popularity boom could transform the pulling power of women's football, or soccer as it's known in the U.S. I hope so, and I hope it can get there. I hope we can get paid just as much as the men, if not more. You know, it's, uh, one day it will happen. Um, I'm not sure if I will still be in the game, but that's why we're, you know, building this platform and using our voices to, to you know, make women's football matter to people. The National Women's Soccer League currently pays salaries as low as $7,000 a year. But some industry experts aren't holding their breath for a level playing field anytime soon. The popularity and money uh, in sports and soccer specifically will grow and continue growing. Uh, I think, you know, in the future, definitely there will be, you know, less disparity and less of a gap between female sports and men's sports, but we're still a long way, you know, from that. The Wall Street Journal reported sponsorship revenue for the Women's World Cup was nearly $17 million, dwarfed by the $529 million made by the last men's tournament. U.S. soccer invest, invest in their women's team, invest in youth development, they invest in this league. In an American stadium, you're putting in more fans than 95% of the men's soccer teams shows you that you know, there's investment from the, the governing body, but there's also the return. As the season nears its end, the focus will be on making sure spectators return next year. Just over 4,000 people turned out to watch this professional women's soccer match here in Maryland. And while that's not quite a full house, there's little doubt that when it comes to the women's game, they're building a fan base that means business. Kevin McAleese, CCTV, Maryland.